All right, everybody. Good morning once again. I actually just made the video for the Conixis homiana. Now we're on to Conixis erosa, sister species that it has the same range as. They share a lot of the same forest. So another forest turtle, and there's one out walking around there here. So this looks a little different than the other one, but that's just because the other one was younger. Captain Brad, this is wild caught. Now I want to show. So one of the things that's a big threat to this species erosa and homiana is collection for the pet trade and also some substance hunting and deforestation but a bunch of these were imported and can still get imported um, to the u.s and other countries but you can tell the imports one you can just tell wild caught versus happy bread but two very easy these drill marks all right this is seen not just in africa but i've seen this in asia people will catch these turtles drill a hole tie them up Put a string tie them up to a stick or a rock so they can't get away and they'll just hold on to them until they can sell them so someone comes by and buys them and you can see the hinge on this one pretty distinctly all right so these are also hinge backs they live in the same forested areas that guinea congo west african rainforest and they like swampy um kind of not necessarily water inundated but very wet moist environments. All right, and this one's going to be active. All right, so this one's going to give us a little bit of show, but I want to, look at that pretty head. There you go. But I wanted to show you the back. You can see, we talked about the other one, you just moved the shell. The other one, the homiana is very distinct on this fifth vertebrae, and this has a round, more smooth curvature. All right, whereas the homiana is very distinct. So this is a rosa. It's very distinct difference between these two species. All right, and these have the same, a very similar diet, omnivorous, they really like mushrooms, but they'll eat other things as well. Pretty much anything they can come across, little insects, vegetables, fruit, whatever they find there in the forest floor. And so we breed a lot of the Erosa. Now, Erosa aren't commonly bred in captivity, but we have had a lot of good luck. This is kind of our success story. We've bred a lot of Erosa. I'm actually going to show you some um, juveniles that were bred here several years ago that are now growing up and we can't keep all of them so we give them to some other people that are specializing in conixes and you can see the marking here the blue dots that's also for identification all right we'll let you go